Welcome back to Cooking with E. Today we're going to make bacon wrapped chicken thighs. Stay tuned. Okay, so today we're using my friend Adobo and our other buddy, White Lightning. So I go ahead and trim these up a little bit. I don't go crazy with it, but uh, I just want to get some of the fat off the outside edge and you want them kind of more of a ball uh, so that bacon wraps around them real nice. So let's get into it. There's quite a bit of fat. So let me go ahead and I'm just gonna trim some of that fat off the outside. And this isn't gonna wrap very well right here, so I'm gonna leave this ball and just kinda give it a little, I'm trying to cut left-handed, sorry. There we go. Take this and just set it aside for now. So that's what's getting wrapped. I'll probably trim that off a little bit, but that's the size, about the size of your palm of my hand. That's what you want to wrap in bacon. I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and trimmed them. Now these usually when they're laid out, they're about like this when they come together. And I just cut them in the middle and trimmed some of the fat off them. And then just made them into separate little pieces as you can see. And you're gonna take and you're gonna roll them up kind of in a tube and then wrap them with bacon and we'll throw a toothpick on either side so the bacon stays on there but right now we're gonna go ahead and season these honey if you could give me a hand here start with that perfect that one and I'll flip them Flip them over. Sure helps have an extra pair of hands, telling you that. Dealing with chicken. Alright. Then once we're done seasoning them, I'll go ahead and take a piece of bacon. Hi, my name's Bacon. Everything's good with bacon. Take and kind of make this into a roll. I'm gonna set it at one end, grab that bacon, and just start wrapping it around. Wrapping it around. Like this. Wrap it around. And then right about there, I'm gonna have my lovely assistant put a toothpick in there. Bam, see? That one's good. Let's do one more. And then I'll do these so I don't bore you to death trying to wrap some bacon around a piece of chicken. So just take and put it on one end. Just kind of let that put it on one end and kind of let it lay. And then spin it, spin it, spin it. And then right at the end there, we're gonna throw a toothpick. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these up and I'll show you what we got going on. Stay tuned. All right, let's get these bad boys on there. Had a couple extra pieces of bacon, but come on, can't have too much bacon. Now, cooking temperature I'm using today is 375, so make sure to make a note of that if you're gonna try this. Let's start with that. Oh, man. Oh yeah, let's chuck them on here. As you can see, they turn out to nice little bundles. We are not trying to eat a huge ass chicken breast or anything like that. When I said jazz, 
like Jasper. Jasper the Friendly Ghost. Alright. Gonna let them sit for a little while. We'll look back in on them. Stay tuned. So it's been a couple minutes here. Let me get my tongs. Let's take a peek. Yo! They handles a little warm. Look at that bacon. Oh, man. I'm telling you, once again, your mom and them would love this. Absolutely love it. All right, I'm just checking to see. Now, this one here ain't quite as good as the bacon because it's got all that chicken up in there. So let's go ahead and leave that be. You guys keep getting happy. You be good. <laughs> be right back. Well, I pulled that bacon as you can see, and you know it's crispy. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Mm. Ain't nothing like bacon on a Traeger. I'm just saying. Let's take a look. Oh, them babies are looking good. Getting a little flippy, flippy do. Oh yeah, and they're starting, as you can see. And I'm always a press guy. Yeah, they're about done. Now let's bring them all outside. See if we can get a little more crisp on that bacon. A little more. And for you Traeger guys, this outside corner, whether you know it or not, if you're new to it, this is a good hint. But this outside edge, that's where the heat comes up. And if you need to charge something, unlike the pit boss that has a little door, you just set them to the outside edges. And trust me, I don't care if it's a broth, if it's bacon, if it's whatever it is, it'll get some char on that outside edge. Nothing better than a little bit of char bacon. Oh, come on. All right, soldiers, I'm going to put you back to sleep. Oh, boys and girls, we are, we are smoking like a freight train. Here. Oh, dude. Those things are getting serious. That bacon, oh. I may just wake up in the morning and put some bacon on this outside edge just to smell it. Of course I'll eat it, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna bottle this as cologne, start selling it. I'm gonna make shirts with this smell woven into them. I may even put this in my car as a scent. Oh, oh. It's just crazy. Oh man, if you can smell that smoke, it is so good. Let's pull them, I'm getting hungry. Oh. That is, oh yeah, I can't wait. I'm getting excited. All right. Let's go ahead and pull them. Let's go ahead and try this. Oh, would you just look at that? Mm. That is so juicy. You gotta make you some of that. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. See you next time. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And hit the little bell so every time I cook something new, which has been a lot lately, uh, you'll get the first notification that I pop something up. And then check out my other channel. I have Destroyer 1320. If you like the Dodge Challenger or drag racing or cars or just me being crazy, trust me, that's another good channel to check out. I appreciate you guys.